You're listening to the Options Insider Radio Network, the home of the Options Podcast. For more quality options programs, visit theoptionsinsider.com or search for Options Insider Radio Network in your podcast provider of choice. Listeners can also access all of our programming through our mobile app available on the iTunes and Google Play stores. Select programs are also available via live stream at Mixler.com slash options dash insider. That's M-I-X-L-R dot com slash options dash insider. Don't forget to follow along with your favorite programs and submit your own questions for the hosts at Twitter.com slash options, StockTwits.com slash options, Facebook.com slash the options insider, or via questions at the options insider.com. Bitcoin, Ether, Solana, Doge, and more. Cryptocurrencies and digital assets are taking the financial world by storm. This exploding market provides everything a savvy trader needs. Volatility, volume, and liquidity, provided you know how to find it. That's where we come in. Welcome to the Crypto Rundown. Each week, we'll break down the latest trading activity, trends, and developments throughout the world's leading crypto derivatives markets. If it's moving the crypto markets, then you'll find it on The Crypto Rundown. The Crypto Rundown is brought to you by Amber Data. If you're entering the digital asset class, you'll need access to granular on-chain and market data from multiple venues to power research, trading, risk management, and compliance. Amber Data delivers comprehensive data and insights into blockchain networks, crypto markets, and decentralized finance, empowering financial institutions to apply traditional finance methods to digital assets. Amber Data eliminates the infrastructure setup, integration challenges, and maintenance headaches to access digital asset data, reducing cost and time to market to enter the digital asset class. Learn more and download their digital asset data guide at www.amberdata.io. Now it's time to dive into the exploding world of crypto derivatives. It's time for the Crypto Rundown. <laughs> All right, everybody. That music means we are back once again with the Crypto Rundown, the program here on the Options Insider Radio Network, where we go beyond our traditional stomping grounds, look a little bit further afield. We say, what's going on out there? And then our crypto hill is going to talk about some Bitcoin, some ETH, maybe a little bit of Solana. Who knows? Sprinkling a doge. <laughs> Going to talk about, of course, the volatility, the volume, the big positions, the trades, the weird stuff going on, the skew, all the interesting stuff that catches our eye out there. World of crypto derivatives this week. My name, of course, Mark Longo from the Options Insider, um, as well as from the ever exciting, at least we tend to think so, Options Insider Radio Network. Come at you a little bit earlier than our usual time this week because I got to hop on a plane. Host haste, listeners, but I got to make sure you folks. Get your dose of crypto goodness here on the network first. So reminding you of three things right off the bat. First off, if you like what you hear, you should be listening to the full network because we do a ridiculous amount of content here on the network outside of the crypto rundown. Nearly a dozen shows. You should be checking those out, especially if some of the newcomers to the world of options, you want to learn about this stuff. Options Bootcamp, Options Playbook Radio. You get a little bit more experience. You hit the option block and, of course, volatility views. If you like Crypto Derivatives and This Week in Futures Options is also a show for you. We talk about all of the listed crypto derivatives there, including everything going up on CME, their Bitcoin futures and options, and their ETH futures and options. So all sorts of fun there. You're missing out on a whole bunch if you're not listening. And of course, if you like what you hear, do keep rating or reviewing on your platform of choice. Uh, new reviews do help the algorithms out there. This show's been running for a little bit. The network obviously has been going over 16 years, but the newer reviews out there help new people continue to discover the show. So we thank you if you take the time to listen and of course, rate and review. And of course, if you want even more content in your lives and really who doesn't at the end of the day, the full network, not enough to satiate you. And we know you're out there. We see new ones all the time. Of course, theoptionsinsider.com slash pro is the place to go to keep your hands firmly on the grips of what's going on in the worlds of all things derivatives. Of course, we have a lot of great pro Q&A sessions there with some of the best minds in the world of options and derivatives, including a lot that touch on the crypto space. A lot of great people from the world of crypto derivatives have come through our pro Q&A hot seat. We give you the chance to ask them all the questions you want. And of course, 
Options Oddities. That show kind of an underheralded gem out there. We talk about a lot of great unusual activity on that show. If you don't find something that you can trade or at least interest you by listening to that show, uh, you're doing it wrong, quite frankly. So uh, it's they're two great shows. There's nearly 200 episodes just of those already waiting for you on that feed. So what are you waiting for? Of course, you get live access to this, everything else we do. Pro Trading Craig going to be going out this week, so we're going to give that away for last month. So if you if you were active in the month of March, your name is already active and added to the hat. So lots of fun stuff there and a whole bunch more coming down the road. Early access to shows, so a lot of cool stuff there. Theoptionsinsider.com slash pro is the place to go. As we dive right into it, listeners, just the facts this week. It is time for the Bitcoin Breakdown. It's time to explore the latest trending activity, trends, and developments across the world's leading crypto market. It's time for the, the Bitcoin, Bitcoin Breakdown. Breakdown. All right, everybody. Welcome to the Bitcoin Breakdown, the portion of the show where we do just that. We break down all the action in the world's leading digital asset. Yep, the big dog, which is Bitcoin. Looking a little bit bigger this week, 28049 just a tick under 50 as we kicked off the show. That puts it up from 27,127 at the end of our show last week. So up a whopping 881 handles on the week. In terms of range, the low came last Tuesday. So right after our show last week, it hit 26,742 on the dark side. And the high was flirting with 29,000. Didn't quite get there. That came a day later on Wednesday. So once again, in a 24-hour period, Bitcoin did a lot of living. Got up to almost 29,000, 28,973 before kind of settling back down to where it is right now. When it's settling, kind of hovering around this range, we're seeing vol kind of settle out around this range as well. On our show last week, we were hanging out at about a 60 vol, coming into this week, 57, so down ever so slightly out there. By the way, of course, all these analytics coming at you, courtesy of our friends over there at Amber Data, amberdata.io, A-M-B-E-R-D-A-T-I-O, the place to go to kick the tires and light the fires on these, and literally tons. <laughs> Maybe not literally, it won't weigh you down, but a figurative ton of analytics that we don't have time to get to on this show because there's so much there. We're literally just, we're just scratching the surface here on the show. But a lot of great data, amberdata.io, the place to go to check out the free trial. If you're intrigued by these markets and you're listening to this show, so I have to think you are, let's keep on rolling. Let's get out to the skew listeners. Remember, they look at not just the traditional 25 Delta skew, but the whole swath of 30 to 20 Delta options. And they come up with a a little bit more aggregate number out there. And last show, we were completely flat. There was no bias in one direction or the other. So the options weren't showing us any sort of move being priced in in either direction. Uh, this week, we're seeing a little bit of a bias toward the calls, two and a half points. So ever so slight. You know, historically, crypto has been bid to the calls. That's the way it's traded. Over the last year and change, we've seen that kind of upset. Of course, the big sell-off, a big a big reason for that listeners out there. We saw puts kind of dominating most of last year. Right now, we're hanging out pretty close to flat yet again. So we're not pricing in a huge move in either direction, at least for right now. And also, it should be mentioned, listeners, we're, we're coming in at the early days here of April. So we just saw March roll off the board. One thing we know about crypto options in general on Deribit is that they love themselves a good quarterly. So March rolling off the board took a whole bunch of open interest with it. So pretty much everything is down right now as they're starting to rebuild from the big March expiration. Uh, looking on Deribit right now, there are 211,000 calls open. That's down 57,000 from this time last week. And the puts, they're down to 104, down 38,000. So still hanging out almost exactly two to one calls over puts, which is the range that Bitcoin options have hung out at on Deribit for quite some time. Let's get to the size positions. Let's see if March going the way the dodo has shaken things up out there this week. What are the top five size positions in Bitcoin options on Deribit? Let's find out right now. Number five, the 35,000 strike. It's got 14,300 contracts open. That's kind of light, but it's enough to make it into number five this week. That's a newcomer to our top five as well. So managing just to sneak in there by the skin of their teeth. Number four, we have the 32,000 strike. That's got 16,100 contracts open. That's down about 3,700. From this time last week. And again, that's going to be a theme we're going to see throughout our top five this week is that OI going down. Number three, 40,000 strike that has 16,400 contracts open. That's down 2,600 contracts from this time last week. Number two, we're getting up there a little more to the 30,000 strike. 16,900 contracts open. That's down 7,100. That's the biggest loser 
So a lot of folks bailing on the 30,000 strike this week, listeners, or at least their positions going the way of the dodo. And then the number one size position in Bitcoin options this week, listeners, it is the 25,000 strike with 18,200 contracts open. That's down 5,300. So these top two really got hammered with March expiration. That shows how many people were open on the March 30s for size, listeners. Intriguing stuff. So Bitcoin still hanging out with some, I think you could charitably call it optimistic paper, the 40,000 strike at number three, the 35,000 strike at number five. Uh, even the 30,000 strike. 30,000 doesn't look as optimistic as it did a few weeks ago. Obviously, we were flirting with 29,000 just last week. So 30,000 seems more doable than it did a few weeks ago. 40,000, 35,000. I'll leave that for you folks to judge as we keep on rolling into what for a lot of you is your preferred vector for crypto derivatives these days. It is Bitto hanging out at 16 and three quarters right now, up a little bit over a tenth of a point, about 0.15 points on the week. So Net, not a heck of a lot going on out there in Bitto. In terms of action, we are seeing that ADB continue to claw its way north week after week. It's up to 93,000 contracts a day now. It's up 2,000 from this time last week. And certainly no small amount of paper. There's not a lot of options products out there that do close to 100,000 contracts a day, listeners. So Bitto swimming in some rarefied territory, clearly showing that you folks out there, you like it at least from an options vehicle perspective. Today, looking a little bit light, only 39,000 contracts on the tape. Uh, the vol also kind of following suit to what we saw out there on Deribit, kind of hanging out. It was in the mid-60s last week, kind of drifting down. I think we were down three points on Deribit. We're down four points here on Bitto. It was a 65, now it's a 61, but still slightly fading, but not a huge move out there on the vol front. Let's look at the top 10 out here in Bitto options, see what's open for size out here this week. The quarterlies have never been as big of a deal with Bitto. I think for whatever reason, the equity options folks don't seem to coalesce as much around the quarterly expiration the way the crypto folks do. That's just a, a trend we've noticed out there in crypto derivatives. I don't know why, particularly in products like ETH. It's all about the quarterlies out there. Bitto, not so much as you'll see here. Number 10, we have the April 9 puts. These are the actual, the weeklies going on the 28th, 14,000 of those are number 10. Number nine, 15,500 of the June 20 calls. So all over the place already. Number eight, 17,000 of the June 5 puts. Number seven, we got about 20,000 of the Jan 18 calls. Number six, 20,300 of the Jan 25 calls. Number five, 22,000 of the Jan 65s. We were talking about these on the show last week. Uh, number four, 25,000 of the Jan 30. So comparatively far more reasonable still extremely optimistic <laughs> but uh interesting nonetheless of course that's if they're buying them they could be overriding these as well either way even playing on the 30 strike is optimistic in and of itself number three 25,000 of the june 8 puts talked about these before number two about 27,000 of the jan 15 calls and the number one size position growing a little bit this week are the april 10 puts 91,000 of those bad boys are open right now. We've said that before. Folks really love that 10 strike. They were overriding a ton of puts a few months ago out there in Bitto. You know, January and February, the 10 puts were open for size. That all went away as Bitto started rallying. Bitcoin started rallying. Now it seems like we are back at it again, listeners. April 10 put open for size. Like we said, about 52,000 of them traded back on March 13th. We've seen 14,000 going up about 10 days ago. They, they've been hot. Uh, pretty much ever since, and the lion's share of that is folks blasting away at the bit. I think we looked it up a few weeks ago. They got somewhere around 25, 30 cents, I believe, for those. So an interesting trade. Would you be selling those puts right now straight up? Would you be doing them as a bit of a ratio, maybe buying a higher up strike and then selling two of the 10 puts? Or you, would you just not want to touch that at all? I'm curious, listeners. Send in your thoughts as we keep on rolling to explore the altcoin universe. It's time to move beyond Bitcoin and find out what's moving the rest of the crypto marketplace. It's time to boldly venture into the altcoin universe. All right, everybody, welcome to the altcoin universe, the portion of the show where we talk about everything else going on in the crypto space, except for right now where we also include Bitcoin. You can't avoid Bitcoin when you're talking about the top 10 from a market cap perspective. Number 10, we've got Solana. 7.8 billion out there this week. Number nine, we got Polygon, 9.9 .9 billion. Number eight, it's Doge, 
10.7 billion. Number seven, Cardano, 13.3 billion. Number six, XRP, 26.1 billion. Number five is USD coin, 32 and about a half billion. Number four, BNB, 48.8 billion. Number three, it's Tether, 79, almost 80 billion. Number two, it's ETH, 216 billion. And number one, with a decently sized bullet this week, is Bitcoin, 500. And 41 billion worth of market cap. Let's keep on rolling. Of course, ETH, number two in market cap. I know it's number one in a lot of your hearts out there. ETH coming into the start of the show, 1796. So threatening that 1800 level. We did get north of it last Friday. Listen, we got up to a high of 1836. Of course, on our show last week, it was 1717. That was pretty much the low for the week as well, 1717. So we hit it during our show last week. So intriguing stuff out there. Uh, seeing ETH Vol kind of following a similar trajectory to Bitcoin. In fact, they're hanging out at similar levels, which is interesting. Usually we see ETH trading at a pretty decent Vol premium to Bitcoin. That's not the case right now. We're seeing Bitcoin at a 57 and we're seeing ETH at about a 59 and a quarter, down about exactly two points. We fifty one and a quarter last week. So they're neck and neck now, ETH vol and Bitcoin vol. That is somewhat strange. We have not really seen that too often in the past. So maybe these are moments, listeners, when those vol spreads start to converge like that, where there might be some interesting opportunities between the two markets. We talked about the skew was flat in Bitcoin. Similar deal out here in ETH this week, listeners. Uh, we were negative two and a half. Last week, so slightly bid towards the puts. This week is about negative a third of a point. So effectively flat. So we're not really seeing much bias in either direction. Now, I mentioned March rolling off the board for Bitcoin options. That is even a bigger deal for ETH options. ETH loves itself a quarterly. It's going to take a lot of OI off the board. And that is the case this week. There are 1.65 million calls remaining on Deribit. That is down over a million. That is down 1.14 million contracts just on the call side. Rolling off the board on Deribit last week. So quite a few, to put it mildly, options were open there in March. And a lot of those going the way of the Dodo. Puts 775,000. That is down 227,000 from this time last week. So a little little over 2 to 1. Usually we see this has gotten up as high as 4 to 1 recently out there in terms of calls over puts. So. Still obviously call dominated, but not quite as aggressively as it has been in the past. Let's go to the top five. I'm sure there's some shakeup as a result of these, these big movements in OI this week. And that is the case. Coming in at number five, we have a newcomer. We have the 2200 strike. So I said we got up to as high as about 1836 this week. Folks piling into the 2200 strike this week. 141,700 contracts are open there. That is a newcomer to our top five this week. Uh, Number four, 1,600 strike. That makes a little bit more sense. A strike we are now above, but have been dancing around for a little bit. 208,000 contracts open there. That's down a whopping 26,000 from this time last week. In fact, we have a tie for number four slash three with the 1,900 strike. Also 208,000 contracts open. That one's down 28,000 contracts this week. So 1,600 and 1,900 strikes. That going the way of the dodo this week, listeners. Still enough to hang out in our top five, but getting... Getting walloped this week. Number two, we have the 2,000 strike. 224,500 contracts open. That's actually down only 1,500. So the 2,000 strike staying resilient, obviously showing not a lot of that open interest was established in March. It's obviously longer term. Uh, So intriguing stuff. And then the big dog this week, the 1,800 strike, moving up a few slots this week. Exactly a quarter of a million contracts open. That's down 32,000 contracts from this time last week Uh, let's keep on rolling through the rest of the altcoin universe and we'll get out of here for this just the facts edition this week listeners our buddy solana getting a little bit of a lift not a huge one it was 1992 on our show last week 2028 and we kicked off the show this week up about 36 cents on the week xrp this one looking a little bit more robust than it was this time last week 50 and a half cents when we kicked off the show 46.8 cents last week up a little over three almost four cents on the week Good old Dogecoin, 7.2 cents last week, 7.7 cents this week. So getting a little bit more robust for all you Doge lovers out there. Litecoin, 88.70 last week, 91.86 this week, up 316. 
Cardano, 34.3 cents last week, 38.2 cents, so nearly a four cent pop on the week for Cardano. And Polkadot, 585 last week, 635 this week, up exactly 50 cents on the week, looking pretty robust. All right, listeners, that music means that's going to do it for this Just the Facts edition. I got to go hop on a plane. Want to make sure you got your taste, your sampling of all things crypto out there this week. Remember, if you like more crypto content, you should be checking out our pro Q&As. A lot of great guests rotating through there, as well as, of course, This Week in Futures Options every Thursday or on demand wherever you get our network content. We do touch on a lot of the listed crypto derivatives products there as well so crypto starting to pop up in a lot of other places here on the network these days remember if you're not listening to the full network you're missing out on a heck of a lot of content so check that out wherever you're getting this fun show we'll be back with our usual assortment of content throughout the rest of the week including for a lot of you out there you should be tuning in on wednesday a lot of great educational content including options boot camp the premier options educational program out there so all the stuff we're talking about here skew volatility open interest all of that is not really ringing a bell to you options boot camp is the place to go to learn more about all of that and of course we'll be back again next week another episode of the crypto rundown stay safe out there everybody The Crypto Rundown is brought to you by Amber Data. If you're entering the digital asset class, you'll need access to granular on-chain and market data from multiple venues to power research, trading, risk management, and compliance. Amber Data delivers comprehensive data and insights into blockchain networks, crypto markets, and decentralized finance, empowering financial institutions to apply traditional finance methods to digital assets. Amber Data eliminates the infrastructure setup, integration challenges, and maintenance headaches to access digital asset data, reducing cost and time to market to enter the digital asset class. Learn more and download their digital asset data guide at www.amberdata.io. You're listening to the Options Insider Radio Network, the home of the Options Podcast. For more quality options programs, visit theoptionsinsider.com or search for Options Insider Radio Network in your podcast provider of choice. Listeners can also access all of our programming through our mobile app available on the iTunes and Google Play stores. Select programs are also available via live stream at Mixler.com slash options dash insider. That's M-I-X-L-R dot com slash options dash insider. Don't forget to follow along with your favorite programs and submit your own questions for the hosts at Twitter.com slash options, StockTwits.com slash options, Facebook.com slash the options insider, or via questions at the options insider.com. <laughs>